Well, happy birthday, Mortal Kombat 11. It is your third birthday. And, you know, we're all excited that we've had Mortal Kombat 11 for three years. I've been seeing people on Twitter posting their favorite memories or favorite features, the stuff in general that they liked about the franchise so far. But the question is lingering, what is next? Are we going to get some type of announcement for Mortal Kombat 12? Because today is Mortal Kombat 11's third birthday. So would that be the opportunity for something to come? So in this video, I'm going to basically talk about some past trends and what events of when and where we could possibly see an announcement for Mortal Kombat 12. So let's get to it. So as I said, today is Mortal Kombat 11's third birthday. April 23rd, 2019 was when the game was originally released. And today is April 23rd, 2022. And as of this recording and potentially release, there has not been any Twitter news that I have found or seen or heard to say that there's been some type of announcement of Mortal Kombat 12. So, so far the video is still relevant. Let's hope it stays that way. But comparing to previous, you know, track records for Mortal Kombat in the franchise, you know, games have typically been released. We're talking about release dates, but typically the release dates for Mortal Kombat 11, 10, and 9 were set in the spring, so around April. And then the majority of the other games in the Mortal Kombat catalog, for the most part, have been released in the fall, uh, mostly in October. And those dates are kind of significant because if you've had the potential release dates in April, sometimes you have announcements, you know, beforehand or if we're going more, okay, let's, this is the month of April when the game had been released. So if we're going to go a few months and maybe in the summertime, maybe there'll be an announcement or maybe in the fall for the following spring. So we've got some cushion time. So I'm thinking spring or fall specifically would have been now, which there's still time. It could be April. This We have one week left of April or it could be May. Or I think maybe we can get something in the fall. Now, in saying all that, we do have quite a few gaming events coming up that could still leave a window open for some type of announcement for Mortal Kombat 12, or if anything, something Mortal Kombat related. So that would have been today. Maybe there's still a chance. It's, the day is still young. So we can get something maybe today, maybe related to the video game as far as Mortal Kombat 12, 30th anniversary news, maybe Mortal Kombat Movie 2 news, something, but... There's still a chance for today. Now, PAX is currently underway, and we haven't heard anything thus far, so I'm guessing it's probably not going to happen there, because that's wrapping up tomorrow. And then moving on to the next event, this is April, now we're moving to May, so this timeline's going to kind of go month by month up until the third, the anniversary of Mortal Kombat, but the next event would have been Combo Breaker 2022, which is Memorial Day weekend in May. Now, what's interesting about this is Ed Boon did retweet a registration tweet for Combo Breaker, possibly just to support the event, but as most of us know with Ed Boon's tweets, we always try to look for more that's there, even though there may not be nothing there, but we're always hopeful for more. So maybe Combo Breaker 2022 could be an event, you know, kind of shake it up, be different than some of the other events that we've had. But moving on to that, we have Summer Game Fest 2022, which is in June. And what's surprising about this is E3 would have also been in June, but was recently canceled. So it's possible that maybe Summer Game Fest could be the time that we see an announcement from something NetherRealm Studios related. If not that, then I'm going to move on to Comic-Con, which is in July. Now you're probably thinking, Justin, why would Comic-Con be on the list? Well, you know, Comic-Con has become more of an event that has encompassed a lot of, you know, formats and media over the years. You know, it's obviously for movies, entertainment, TV shows, comics, I think also video games kind of linger in there because of the types of franchises that they are. So it's possible that Comic-Con could be used to introduce some type of game announcement. Ed Boon has been a part of DC Fandom, which is an entertainment only, you know, entertainment only event. So it's possible that Ed Boon could also do something with Comic-Con, but I'm putting it in there. So this is going to be in July. So we're, we're, in, we're on from April, May, June, and now we're in July. We're in the summertime. So moving on past Comic-Con in July, the next thing coming up would be Gamescom, which is in August. Now, I find it really interesting that we have all these events, you know, month to month to month to month to month. So honestly, every month could be a chance for something to come about. But after August, that's where things kind of get interesting. So after Gamescom, if there's nothing announced, then we come to two other opportunities for 2022, which would be TwitchCon 2022. Now, again, you're probably thinking, why would that be the event that they do it at? Well, you know, Mortal Kombat has been involved in a lot of uh, esports events and a lot of players on Twitch play Mortal Kombat in the street. So why not have that be a place to announce a new game? You could have some of the famous Twitch streamers, you know, get involved and kind of help NRS, you know, push it to other people. So I'm going to leave it in there. But that happens in October. 
And then, of course, we have the 30th anniversary of Mortal Kombat, the franchise. So that could also be the date, which is, again, in October. So given the events and months covered, if an announcement was to happen at all, I honestly think of all the events and all the times I've announced, I would say it's going to be the anniversary date of Mortal Kombat. I think that's still the best window of opportunity that we're going to see as far as an announcement of some kind, whether it be Mortal Kombat 12, 30th anniversary, I think it's going to be going to be somewhere around then. But let me know what you think about the dates and events I've listed so far and which would you like to see? When and where would you like to see the announcement happen? Or would you just want to see it happen on a random date on Twitter? Let me know the comments below. So a couple of the things I want to talk about that kind of tie into a Mortal Kombat announcement. We have had some recent clues come up as far as some Mortal Kombat OG arcade actors who have seemingly started to get back into the groove of things with the way they looked when they did their, you know, acting for the Mortal Kombat 3 game. And one of those recently would be the OG Sindel actress, Leah Montelongo, who posted a picture on Instagram of herself in the famous Sindel eye makeup. And in her post, she says, Sindel eyes, I was just 19 years old when I showed up to the set of At Midway Games 27 years ago. It was a creative collaboration and some black Halloween makeup that created this eye and these lips. Today for 2022 is the very first time I've ever redone the Sindel eyes. Other OG arcade actors such as Kung Lao's Anthony Marquez and Sonya Blade's Carrie Hoskins have also hinted at a possible return of the franchise by posting posts recently of them being in their famous MK3 costumes and makeup. So it's interesting that maybe we might get a Mortal Kombat 12 announcement. Maybe we're still going to get that 30th anniversary game or a remaster of some kind. And these actors are just kind of like giving us teases and bits and pieces to get us, you know, slowly get us there. So we have something to go off of. But that kind of helps prove that there's still something to come. And I do think that NetherRealm Studios is not going to leave us hanging for too much longer, but something is going to come. Now, in saying that, I will say that maybe it could be a little bit longer if we don't get something on the 30th anniversary. Maybe, just maybe, it has something to do with the Warner Brothers Discovery merger. So this closed on April 8th, but that could leave things still kind of hanging in the balance as far as what the new leadership wants to do, because obviously at t whether they're still going to retain Warner Brothers, uh, Warner Brothers games, or if they're going to spin it off into something different, or if Discovery's going to take it over again fully and then spin it off into something different. You know, everything's still kind of up in the air for right now. But I think because of that, you know, it, it kind of makes things, it pushes things out. You know, it's kind of, everything's kind of on hold until the new leadership decides what they're going to do. We do know that Rhythm Studios has hired new people on their team to make games, and they're making a fighting game of some kind, but we don't know exactly what kind of timetable they're looking at. So that also could be a reason why we have not heard anything thus far from Mortal, another one series about a Mortal Kombat or an Injustice game. So what do you think about the possible when and where a Mortal Kombat 12 announcement could be? Do you think today would have been a day we should have gotten one? Do you think it should be for the 30th anniversary date? And what do you think about the OG arcade actors teasing us about something to come? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. That's it for this video, guys. Enjoy that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys next time on The Mashup.